Oh, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Demi. I have these uh, ridiculously nice pair of boot right here. Boot? Boots? Skull Trail Goliath clear use. A viewer on stream gave me them today from Bestiary League. They are three white sockets and uncorrupted. That is possible with Bestiary recipes. So, they were made last league. They also have Aspect of the Spider as a suffix, which is a, uh, it's a aura buff, kind of like a herald. It gives you more, a more enemies take more damage or something. It's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. It also has a regen enchant, so this is going to be perfect for Righteous Fire. Assuming I can get the prefixes, and I'm also not supposed to be meta crafting right now because Pain Bane, we're trying to get 50 Eternals. We are over halfway there, but I feel like I owe the person this. Like, these boots are beautiful. And I want to finish them. I have slammed them once, obviously, that's why they have garbage prefixes on them, but we're going to try to meta craft this. So I'm going to lock my suffixes and try to null it off and save that movement speed roll, because that would be great. We did it, uh, and then we go block. We're looking for life movement speed, basically. I'm gonna block armor, slam T1 life. You know, for being T1 life, T11 looks kind of not correct. <laughs> Try to save the movement speed again. Okay, doing good. Should I just, I don't know. I'll spend the extra currency to block armor because I don't want to slam it. Three, two, one, life. Oh, damn, dude, I'm hitting the life rolls, which is really good, but I need to hit T1 life. It really needs to be T1 life. And they are Elder I-86 boots, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get away with an Elder mod since I can't really, like, I don't want to turn on the last prefix, basically. Wow. Doing good with the annul streak already. We'll see. Whew, damn it, hybrid armor, we don't want that. You can't actually block hybrid armor. But yeah, these boots, like, they're really, really good for righteous fire style builds because it's just a generic enemies take, in more in or take increased damage modifier. It's just, like, overall a good build for, or a good buff for any build, but righteous fire especially can use that mod since it's not, like, a elemental effect style thing. So we lost our movement speed, now I have to start over. Unaffected by desecrated ground. I have never actually seen that mod before. It's terrible. We don't want it. Just looking for life movement speed, or like movement speed plus maybe fortify would be cool, and then we could craft life. Nine. <laughs> That's the lowest possible tier of life. I'm not sure. Like, I don't want to turn on these boots. I mean, they are really, really good, and there's a lot of potential uh, things you can do with them, but that hitting the third prefix is going to be really painful. Damn it, dude. I hit movement speed again. Nope. Remove the craft. Uh, I don't want to do too many X on this today because I need to save for Pain Bane. Let's go to a null, get rid of that movement speed. Fuck. Maybe I need to divine it first. Maybe that's why it's not being made yet. 48 48. This should not be this hard. It's like a 1 in 3 times 1 in 3. Are you. Are you serious? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that took way too many divides. 25 is not good enough. You can actually get 35% movement speed on these. Which is the new tier 1 movement speed as of, I believe, this league or last league. But it's incredibly rare, so... Shocked around, I don't want that. It would be nice to hit that plus tier 1 life, and then maybe I would Eternal the Hybrid then, but... I don't think eternaling these boots is in the near future since I have to finish Pain Bane first. Hybrid armor again. And this session, if I spend 200 X on this, that's that's like one in a third Eternals that I could have spent on Pain Bane, or could have got for Pain Bane rather, so. For those of you that don't know, Pain Bane is my uh, Elder Volex that we crafted about a month ago now or so. If you look up Pain Bane Volex, I'm sure you will find the video, or I'll remember, if I remember I'll link it in the description of this video. But it's a, it's a potential 990 PDPS Elder Axe with Culling Strike. Two-handed, right? Which is just disgusting. So I'm hoping to finish that because that will, like the current number one axe I believe is around 860 PDPS. So I will be like 10% more damage than that and Culling Strike on top. So that's insane. And I haven't ever really crafted a number one weapon before. So something I want them to do at some point. Like, I, I kind of messed around with it when we were doing Pain Rain Eternal Orbing way back in the day, 
which is one of my most popular YouTube videos, the 650X versus double T1 prefix pain rate or whatever the fuck it was. That's like that Eternal Orb session. There are very few videos on YouTube of people using Eternal Orbs because they were just like before the time of when a lot of people did YouTube videos or people just never really got into crafting that high end. There's a lot of like really, really old ones, not a lot, but some really, really old ones before the exalts even looked like this and before Eternal Orbs looked like Eternal Orbs. But that was a long ass time ago. I keep hitting the right mods with the very wrong tiers. So it's kind of cool to be able to be like, wow, I keep hitting blue speed. To be able to say that you have used Eternal Orbs to craft before, and to be able to like show that you have made a like near perfect weapon at some point. God, what is? I'm hitting like I've never seen this many. I'm usually slamming like thorns and movement speed or thorns and hybrid and flat repeatedly. This is like I'm hitting life movement speed, life movement speed, life movement speed, occasional hybrid armor, but mostly life movement speed, life again. But they're not the right tiers. That's so weird. We haven't seen any of the other mods yet. You can get supported by Fortify and Endurance Charge on Kill. Speaking of. If that was 35 movement speed, dude. That would been so good. Uh, let's try to null save that Fortify. Fuck. Try again. Null save. Got it. Block that percent armor, slam 35% movement speed, let's go. <laughs> Damn it, 10% movement speed. So close. Save it again. Oh, we did it. We did it, did it, did it, did it. T1 movement speed. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Boots without movement speed, though? On a Righteous Fire character? I don't... Hmm. I don't know if that's good. Also, Endurance Charge on Kill, honestly, for most builds is irrelevant, because you're going to have max endurances from something else all the time. Especially if you're a Jug. RF Jug does not give a fuck about that. Neither does Chieftain, because they get Endurance on Kill too. Uh... I think I'm gonna try to null off the endurance charge on kill. We'll see. Let's get rid of the endurances. Alright. <laughs> sure. I'll take it. Whatever. Come on, and slam. Ugh, hybrid armor. That hybrid mod is so bad. Like, you don't. No one wants armor on boots. No one cares about that mod. It's just like. It's just here to troll us. Come on in, a null. No, stop. A null. Okay, three in a row. Thank you. Fortify plus T1 high, or T1 movement speed is like really, really good. I would like that. Cause 64 life versus 89 life, not that big of a deal with all the other good stuff on these boots. All right. That I will, I will, that's perfectly fine by me. I will accept T2 movement speed. <laughs> We did it. I need to get 60 day 4 life on these. They're not like perfect perfect, obviously, since they have T2 movement speed and crafted life, but it's a difference of what? 29 or 25 maximum life? Which is not that much. That's like a hybrid mod, and a lot of people don't mirror hybrid life plus life gear, so I'll be okay with this. These might be some of the best aspect of the spider boots on the server. I haven't actually looked. And I don't want to turn all this. So for now, with that session, I will have completed my feeling of obligation to the viewer that gave me these. I'm really sorry, I don't remember your name. I'll put it in the description of the video. You gave it to me on stream today, and I totally forgot, and no one clipped it. I was looking through the clips earlier, and no one saw it, so... Pretty nice boots right there. So you can put your, uh, your movement skill in here for the Fortify. Pretty nice. I'm pretty proud of this. Those are just really nice boots. Oh, I can't equip them. Let me put them in stash and then show you what the skill actually does. I don't think this character has enough strength. Nope. Well, hang on, hang on. We'll do this. We can do this. Does this character have strength? Yes. Okay. D and D real quick. So here's aspect of the spider. 
When active, it periodically applies a spider web debuff to nearby enemies and hinders them, so they're slower. Each spider's level on an enemy increases the damage they take, hinder reduces their movement speed. So you get up to three spider webs and it gets 5% increased damage taken. And they inflict webs every 5 seconds. I don't know how big the AoE is on this. But if you combine them with one of the uh, Fenomous items from Bishiri, you can get three more aspects of the fighters. Is it the boots? Okay, the boots give you one extra. The helmet gives you... I don't know. I thought you could get up to four. I have no idea. I should stop wasting time. I'm sorry, but these boots are amazing, and uh, they'll be my mirror thread. Even though they're not perfect perfect, I think they might be the best spider boots on the server, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the session. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment on what you want to see me do next, or what build you're playing, or how your incursion league's going, or where you're going to play for the race, whatever it might be. Um, if you want to help support what I do, you can check out the links in the description to my Patreon, my Twitch stream, my merch, whatever else you would like. I uh, appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me. We are actually really close to hitting 30,000 subs, which is insane. So, uh, thank you so much for that. But I will see you guys in the next video, and that'll be done me out.